Hello world, welcome to XGN's performance channel. Today I'm at T-Step ECU Flash performance tuning shop in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm going to show you something interesting. Let's go see it. Yep, you see that? VTEC Turbo, the 8th generation Honda Civic. We call this Civic FD. FD is chassis code. Yep. Originally, this engine was the R18, but it's built now. It has the R20 pistons and Chinese forged rods. The brand, I think, is King Tech. They are reputable and they make good stuff. So, there are good Chinese and bad Chinese. This one is on the good side. It's hot. Let me help myself here. Yeah. Uh, the noise in the shop was kind of loud, so I decided that I should do the voiceover. So here I am. What I was trying to say is that the car was tuned before. Yeah, we we did the tuning with the stock ECU, but the car had the automatic transmission. It has the manual transmission now, but it was automatic. So we tuned it using the stock ECU. I did all the reverse engineering and everything, removed the limiters, patched the codes to make it accept the boost, made the, all the tables do the boost, rescale created tables, and removed the limiters, especially the fuel related stuff the stock fueling algorithm they use mass airflow sensor so i had to disable mass airflow sensor and created a speed density table so the car already had fully working speed density algorithm uh, which is the method i came up with uh, like long ago and it's been working well for me yeah and there are a couple of people around the world that I shared my knowledge with. Yeah, for sure, it's not for free. If you see a working speed density conversion on stock ECU anywhere in the world without Honda, without K Tuner, it's most likely that it comes from me. Okay, so, and the owner decided that he wants to have some more fun. It has the manual transmission now and the new ECU, which is a stock ECU, but it comes from the car that has the manual transmission. And the engine is built now. Stock crankshaft, but forged rods. It's King Take rods, and uh, it has the OEM Honda R20 pistons. So, and it has the Chinese, like 650cc injectors, bone stock fuel system, which should be fine. Well, let's get into the tuning. And meanwhile, they are changing the intake manifold of this Honda Jazz, as you would call Honda Fit in the United States. But let me tune this car first and we'll get to the Civic letter. And this is the T Step shop owner. He is a very cool guy. That's like a five, four, five horsepower. Very cool. And I just installed the HTS CAN bus in this laptop for data locking, for the tuning in this job. That we will help analyze to make the tunes better. So HTS CAN bus is one of a kind, all in one suite. Don't forget to shake them out. And they just gained some power just from the ported intake manifold alone and that's super cool. So the Honda Jazz is done and now it's our time. The car is now on the dyno but we actually did the street runs last night before today. And this is the speed density table and the ignition tables that I created and extended to do boost and they are working very well. 
and the software I used to edit the ROM in the Win OLS, and this is the one that I use to flash the ECU. It's called the PCM Flash by the Russian developer. It's very stable for Honda. I use this one with Tacris and the Scanmatic 2 Pro. Works well. And this is the data log from last night. The boost went as high as 10 psi and dimmed down to 9 psi at the higher RPM. And the auto sensor reading, you see, is rich because uh, when the reading goes rich, the sensor is actually reading too rich from the actual mixture. So you always have to tune it super rich to avoid going too lean. Always trust your wide band, but if you don't have the wide band yet, just tune it super rich and do the refinement later. And there we go, the flashing is finished. Let's go. So we just had to do a couple of adjustments over the tunes that we got from the street runs and now we have the 234 horsepower and 274 newton meter of torque which we are really satisfied because the pistons are still the OEM pistons which are the cast iron. So we aim for safety over the maximum power because the owner will be using the car every day. It's good. Yeah, we got the car off the dyno. <laughs> so we did the road test. I think we will test on the road once more. I'm trying to get the drive ability to be perfect, as perfect as possible. We will see how it goes. After all the road tests, we actually achieved the great refinement of the drivability and we tested the cranking feeling and the low load feeling, checked all the fuel trim and everything and it worked out perfectly. We are very satisfied. It's all good. The car runs great. And that's about it guys, we achieved it again today using the stock ECU to control the engine with boost. It went well and we are very happy and we we are so eager to show the world that it can be done using the stock ECU alone. We have our mission to show the world that stock ECUs can do. The stock ECUs are powerful. I've been tuning car for a year. I have had help from friends, help from loved ones. Last year was my darkest time and tuning changed my life. There are certain friends that helped me change my life. I will try my best to do all this. I will try my best for people around me, for the customers that bring cars to me, for all my partners that trust me enough to let me tune their project cars. And th th thank you, thank you, thank you everyone. Th thanks for watching. English is not my native language. And I'm not sure if I'm communicating good enough to let you guys know and understand what, what I'm trying to say, what I'm feeling, and how much I appreciate the tuning community for all the stuff, for our knowledge you guys have shared. I've been like spectating all about it for, for, for all these years. 
I'm just another car driver that just happened to got into tuning and it's been great to me. I'm very happy that I let it try tuning and it's been good to me. I really thank everything that made it happen to me. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.